Welcome, welcome to Whose Line Is Anyway, the improvisation show in which comedy, entertainment, inspiration and drama are all abandoned in favour of a few silly games. Featuring tonight the star of Stage Screen, the Edinburgh Festival and Beer Commercial, Steve Frost. Then star of Stage, Sitcoms and now the Royal Shakespeare Company, Josie Lawrence. Plus star of School Nativity Plays, Auditions and Colin Mockery Lookalike Contest, Colin Mockery. And uh, star of a couple of films, a hit sitcom and 19 series of Whose Line Is Anyway, Ryan Stiles. <laughs> Let's start with a game called Superheroes. We're all four contestants, but uh, Colin Murphy is going to start off. He is a superhero of a type we're going to decide in just a moment. He'll decide who the next person in will be, and so on down the line. He'll be solving a global problem. Now, what sort of superhero do you think Colin Mockery is? What's that? <laughs> a tendon seat man. Ejector. Ejector seat man. What sort of man would that be? That wasn't worth waiting for. I'm sorry, can I just... <laughs> keep going, keep going with someone I like. Man. What's that? Sock man. Sock man. <laughs> Come again? <laughs> what? What was that? Yeah. One more, I'm sure it's going to be a good one soon. Say again? Bimbo woman. That's good, bimbo woman. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> You heard all the others. Uh, Bimbo woman now has another little problem. What is the global problem he's dealing with? What shortage? Peroxide shortage. Peroxide shortage, okay. There's a shortage of peroxide for Bimbo woman. Away you go, Brian. Where's the mirror? <laughs> My roots are showing. Oh, I better call the... Oh! Oh! Oh, no! The peroxide! Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> this is the word for the peroxide. I hope my super friends can help me. Sorry, it's late. Your address is rubbed off the front of your house there. <laughs> hey, glad you're here. Captain Hallucination? Hey, it's all right. Oh, no, the elephant! Oh! <laughs> I need help. Help? You need help, but the worm's coming from your face. <laughs> I got your message. I came as soon as I could. Thank God you're here, overindulgence boy. Appreciation girl. audition. Okay, thank you, Arch. Well done. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> as I say, that. As I said, that's always my favourite game, but there are exceptions, obviously. Now we're going to get with fixed expressions. This is for Ryan, Josie, and Colin. And you have to use these stools because uh, Ryan uh, is a policeman, a cop, who stopped Josie and Colin for speeding. Speeding on those two stools, bizarrely. And, uh, but in the course of this game, you have to maintain a fixed expression each. Ryan, you look shocked the whole time. Uh, Josie, you look very happy. And Colin, you look constipated. <laughs> okay, you just... You're going to be stopped for speeding, away you go. Everything comes out okay. 
Do you realize how fast you're going back there? Five. Sixty. Ah! Uh -huh. I'm gonna have to write you up a ticket. Oh, please, this is my first offense. Well, there you go, it's only a 35 pound fee. 35 pounds, that's nothing, dear. Woohoo! Oh, this is a real pain in the ass. I always like to tell him just out of sheer sympathy. So we go into a game called Film Dub. This is Steve, Ryan, and Colin. You get to where you can see the uh, TV set, the monitor there. And you have to add a new soundtrack to this piece of film from which the original soundtrack has been removed. The title we'd like to give it is The Salesman Arrives. And Ryan, you are the salesman who arrives in due course. So you're not there yet, but you will arrive. So away you go. If you put boot polish on these binoculars, I'll kill you. <laughs> Hold on, Andrew. Whoa, 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 What's your wife doing there? <laughs> Never mind that. Get this caterpillar off my face. I can't stand it. It's sticking. If it turns into a butterfly, I'll go crazy. Excuse me, gentlemen. I was wondering if anyone would like to buy some later hosen. I think he's talking to you, Phil. I don't wear later hosen. Hey, you, come here. What kind of later hosen do you have? What's the price? Well, we have all different types. I'm sure the man there that looks like a walrus might be interested. Turn your Split crotch, later hosen. Hey, yes, do you? Answer the man. I said, if you... Yeah, I heard you. If I throw you a salmon, will you shut up? Listen, everyone. Hey, I don't like him. Take him outside now. Deal with him. Oh. I'm sorry you've insulted my friend. Well, he's probably not used to living in these warm temperatures. <laughs> I don't know if that was brilliant or just sad, but anyway, it's a lot of points to that, I dare say. Old job, new job is a favourite game, I imagine, with people like it. Uh, Josie and Ryan are going to start this, and they're trying to check into a hotel. And they're finally going to make contact with Steve, who is the bellhop, uh, whatever that is. Uh, but the bellhop, it turns out, uh, he used to be in airport security. Sounds simple, but it probably will be. Away you go. What name shall we use today? Whatever we use, I think it should be... Mr. and Mrs. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Um, can I take your bags up for you? Oh, yes, Let's have a quick you. look in here before. <laughs> I don't think that's necessary. <laughs> uh, look, we just want a room. Mark a pen, mark a pen, right? <laughs> look, can we get a room for the night? Certainly you can, yes. Yeah. So I'll just go to put this rubber glove on. <laughs> a rubber glove? Uh huh, uh huh. Look, we just want a can room. Can you just we... have a look at the ashtray for me, please? <laughs> We want you... a room for the night. Before my you... husband and me, this man who is my husband, yes, he is my husband, he is. Mr. Right. and Mrs. We are. Yes. Uh, I understand, and I, I believe you. If you want to go to your room, can you just walk through this gate, please? Right. Ah, 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 ah! <laughs> What's that? Hey! <laughs> it's all right, there used to be a German pub concert. Oh. <laughs> Look, we don't have this, okay? Oh, I don't know, can I have a go? All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll make the noise, you've been wrong. Um, I, think that's a, I think that's as good as that game gets. Sad but true. If you can narrate for each other, Colin and Ryan are going to act out a scene and narrate each, for each other the whole time. Um, the scene is Colin is a woman who has come to Ryan's hardware store. And to help you, there'll be some music to set the mood. I was hoping you had the kind of hardware I needed. I'm a hard woman to please, even harder to look at. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like a big hammer. I knew she wanted a big hammer. <laughs> Maybe a couple nails and a good screw. <laughs> I showed her what I had to offer. Oh, ma'am, you might want to take a look along the shelves up there. As I looked at the shelves, I could feel his eyes looking at every curve of my body. I could almost hear his heart scream, I want you. I hope you have a man around the house who can help you with those kind of things. I knew she didn't, because I'd gotten a good look at that big butt of hers. I knew there wasn't a man in Essex that would go after her. That'll be $59.95. Thanks. He was charging me way too much. 
I knew I would have to kill him. Killed him like the other men who were just scum and treated me like dirt, not realizing that inside me was a beautiful person aching to get out and would never get hey, out. Hey, 59.95. <laughs> I'm sorry, big boy. That's the last sober charging you'll ever do. She pulled a gun on me. She didn't know that behind her was the store manager, Phil, with a shotgun. I fell for the old store manager, Phil, behind me with a shotgun. It was the eighth time this week. But he didn't know that Elmer, my pet termite, was slowly crawling up his leg, ready to bite into his jugular. What am I, stupid? Thank you very much, Mr. Mack. Yes. We're going to have quite enough time to wait for a termite to crawl up your legs, but uh, little the point says we're going to the world's worst. This new form of world's worst it involves you dividing into two teams of two. Josie and Ryan, can you take a stool and a box of hats, please? And Steve and Colin, another stool, another box of hats. And using just those simple props, uh, you have to come up with examples of world's worst audition tape or showreel of somebody trying to be in films and stuff. And I'll start with you over there, Ryan. Hey, you don't mess with Judge Dredd. Hey, you don't mess with Judge Dredd. Put the wagons in a square. Frankly, Scarlet, I can't hear you what? Dumbo, take five. Okay, boys, we're going over that ridge and we're killing those Germans. That's poop. We're gonna kill all the Germans, sir? Ah, uh, they have a gimmick. There's a manager to do while I watch out the points for that game. We'll take a back to that, but... Judged by audience acclamation, those are the funniest and best adverts we've ever seen. As we go into a game called Props, uh, Colin and Ryan, you've got to come up with as many different ways of using this item as possible. Um, and at the same time, uh, Steve, and just see if I can get it over your head. Yes, yes. Uh, oh, hang on, I just want a goldfish, so I'll just uh, carry on. I'll buzz between the two pairings, uh, just so you come up with the ideas. Starting with you, Colin Ryan. Pain is just a condition of the mind. Oh, shit, oh, fuck. I've got the ring of confidence. Oh, my God, the wall of nails is closing in on us. Oh, this side's fine. Oh. The last time I was on Gulliver's Travels. <laughs> Attention! You call yourselves worms. <laughs> hey, I thought I could do this. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Only one is my real penis. <laughs> Turn on the jacuzzi. Yeah, I am Italian. What do you ask? Well done. I think uh, I think Steve wins that for that uh, reenactment of hula hooping of the 1950s. Well done. <laughs> if we go on to a game called Sound Effects, this is for Ryan and Colin. What Colin's going to do is act out an everyday scene, while Ryan will provide the sound effects for him. Sounds pointless, but let's see how we go. 
Now, your everyday activity is taking a seat on a plane, or stool on the plane. Away you go. For some reason, Ryan always wins that game, and tonight he played his joker, so he gets a full two points. Now we go into a game called Party Quirks. This is for everybody, but it does feature in particular Steve Frost as the host of the party. All the others are guests of the party in front of you, the guests of an envelope inside the envelope is a suggestion of a strange way of behaving, or quirk. Steve has to work out which quirk has been allocated to each of his guests. So the guests would like to come in in the order of Josie, Colin, Ryan. Steve, get the party underway. Is it sort of up and swinging, up and running? CDs are in. Full of arms are hot. Good. I'll make a okay. doorbell noise when your guests okay. are arriving. Okay. As long as I'm... Oh, Hi, my friend said she wouldn't mind if I... Oh, you're going to the first one here, is so... Am I the first? Uh, well, uh... I hope I'll be the last. Uh, well, you'd like, just like to re 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 unwind and uh, maybe get yourself a drink. Uh... <laughs> I know, the reason why I invite... Uh, uh, yeah, yes, just a moment, I'll be back with you in a minute. A uh, woman who really likes bald men. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Uh, very well. Can I buy some chips here? Yeah, help yourself. Oh yeah. my God. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've had enough to drink already because uh, you're drowning there, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. You're drinking water, yeah. Well, uh, hell, oh, what a crazy party this is. Ah, what's fun? You're a little late um, arriving, but uh... Dad, what's happening to me? <laughs> oh, think... The other kids at school make fun of me. I want to go fight the commies in the war, yeah, Dad. Can yeah, I? Yeah, can yeah. I? I do. Oh, I don't feel like I used to. Uh, no, well, you've got to I'm getting <laughs> older. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is it? <laughs> you, you've been through your whole life in five seconds. Oh, oh, man. Man. He was. That certainly, that certainly changed the scoring, that game. Oh no, I've got the score sheet upside down, that's it, oh that's better. <laughs> now let's do a game called Psychiatrist, which is going to feature Josie Lawrence as a psychiatrist, she'd like to come on there, and it's a strange psychiatrist, so the patients come in, they sing their problems to her, with the assistance of Richard Ranch at the piano, and then she sings some sort of advice back still, with Richard in attendance, I shouldn't wonder. Colin, you're the first person on. Uh, now first of all, uh, which, um, which country do you think he's in? To give some style of music from the country. Morocco. Morocco, Austria. Austria. I think Austria. A bit, I've got an idea what Austrian music sounds like. Nothing what Morocco would be. He thinks he's something. What do you think he is? <laughs> the, first, the first one off there was an armadillo. Do you know what an armadillo is, do you? Yes, it's something that wears a suit. shell suit. Shell, a shell suit. <laughs> okay. okay, anyway, Colin thinks he's one, and uh, he's in Morocco. <laughs> No, Austria. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. We should switch it to some lederhosen just to do this. Austria. 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 Aust
Austria, Austria, come on, Austria. <laughs> And it's uh, Ryan, you come on down. <laughs> okay, now, he, which country for Ryan? Greece. 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 No, Greece is good, yes, a good country. <coughs> and he's in love with someone or something. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in love with a cameraman, that's nice and uh, relevant to a TV studio. You're in Greece and you're in love with a cameraman. So you, that kind of love is known to have happened in Greece from time to time. So. Away you go. You're in love with a cameraman in Greek music. Hey. Hey. Yes. A man I adore. <laughs> he pushes a big thing around the floor. <laughs> I love him and all of his friends. When he makes love to me, he uses a telescopic lens. This is such a lack of focus, focus. You must pull this friendship into focus. Come on now, don't be a clamorer. You must forget about this man that stands behind the camera. Sadly, that's the very last game we're playing, and adding up the points, I see that astonishing yet again, everybody's won tonight, so well done. <laughs> so the prize for winning, what I'd like you to do is to read the credits in the style of uh, four uh, excitable traders on the stock exchange, okay? Just remains for me to thank Stephen Frost, Josie Lawrence, Colin Murphy, Ryan Stiles, Richard Ryan from Dennis, me, Clive, and saying good night, good night. <laughs> Welcome to Whose Line Is It Anyway, the show which is funnier than a speech by John Major. Or if you haven't been watching America, funnier than a speech by that chap who took over from Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> Starring tonight, the spectacularly talented Greg Proops, and co-starring the prodigiously Canadian Colin Mockery, and introducing the decidedly youthful Neil Ashton, and reintroducing the unfeasibly tall Ryan Stiles. Ladies and gentlemen, the contestant. <laughs> okay. Well, that's, um... Well, we're going to start with a favourite game of mine called Questions Only. Uh, start with Greg and Neil. If you'd like to come on down, but uh, the other two will stand ready to join in. And it's a simple game. This All they have to do is to act out a little scene, but they must only speak in questions. And it's surprisingly easy to go wrong. If they do go wrong, I'll buzz and they'll be replaced by the person behind them to have a sort of uh, tag game. Uh, and you're in a men's changing room after a game. If you've ever been in a men's changing room, either of you, this should be easy. In Questions Only. <laughs> Thanks. We'll take it from here, homie. <laughs> oh, can I borrow your towel? Do uh, you want to use this towel? Is that yours? Was this the one you gave me? Did I give you my towel? <laughs> to Geordie, I'm sorry. <laughs> Do people laugh at that? 
Would you like to shower with me again? Does mine look bigger than yours? Do you have the special mirror? Do you have the towel? <laughs> Why do you ask? Mind if I lather you up? Uh, mind if I bend over? <laughs> Put this on your shoulder. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Is this the men's shower? Does it look like the men's shower? Does Tom Cruise? <laughs> Is Betty White? <laughs> no, wrong person left, Doug. Never mind. Uh, how man, do you play squash? It's me again. <laughs> I'm sorry, are you speaking English? I'm sorry, are you from somewhere else? What do you mean by that? You're not from round here, are you? Don't you recognize me? Aren't you the chap who's not from round here? <laughs> how did you know? Don't you know that everybody points at you when you walk down the street and say, he's the chap who's not from round here? <laughs> Why don't people tell me these things? Don't you listen? <laughs> to you. I'm from Newcastle, that's why. <laughs> okay, then I think very much. Thank you. Excellent round. <laughs> uh, I think I'll give uh, double points to Neil there for bringing back the memory of uh, the great lost Gaza. I don't think he's found again now. Uh, let's do film and theatre styles. So Greg and uh, Neil, come on down and uh, I'm going to give you a scene in a moment. Any styles, uh, more film and theatre styles? <laughs> Poseidon Adventure. Oh, oh. Give me some <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome to Channel 4. We're James Bond. James Bond, yes. Indiana Jones. Do you have to hear it? All right. <laughs> I, that was a good one, but I didn't hear it, unfortunately. But, uh, <laughs> no, Rick Shane again. The answer is no. <laughs> okay, so let's, uh, let's go for... Greg, you're a tourist, and you've hired a local person. Uh, he's in the right shirt already, so that's good. Uh, you're, and you're trying to search for Loch Ness Monster. Hey, you'll, you'll be looking for nasty things. That makes my ears tickle. Could you say that again? Hey, I, I can't remember the next bit. You'll be looking for nasty things. Yes, you want to cheek the Mickey Mouse? No, no, sorry, sorry. Uh, you in my hey, ball. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I think it's funny to look for the Loch Ness Monster in Wales, don't you? <laughs> yes because uh, it'd have to be a big wheel to swallow Nessie. It certainly would. <laughs> yeah. uh, you, you've already doubled your points by uh, outpunning him. Uh, <laughs> Poseidon Adventure. Oh, my God. We're underwater all of a sudden. <laughs> Damn, I knew we shouldn't have stood on this rickety pier. My God. <laughs> There's only one way out. Follow me. Thank God, we're out. <laughs> Why, if I wasn't an ex-cop from the Bronx, I'd slap you in irons. This wasn't the 20th century. <laughs> I just fancy the challenge on the accent. Uh, James Bond with Sean Connery, please. Sure, you... Aye! <laughs> yes, that's right. I've come all this way. Perhaps you'd like to meet me. Sure, I'd like to make love to my mistress before I have you killed, Mr. Bond. <laughs> First, I'd like to know exactly why. <laughs> You want the monster. All right, Mr. Bond, I'll tell you Sorry, what. I've just set fire to my fingers. <laughs> Indiana Jones. My God, rock! <laughs> You're some god. I've just been squashed flat by an enormous rock coming out of the Loch Ness Monster's butt. <laughs> That was no rock. I could have listened to those all night. And <laughs> certainly for we're going to. Let's now do a game for. <laughs> let's now do a game for whose line. This is for Colin and Ryan. They're going to come down and act out a scene. Uh, and all they have to do is to include two lines supplied by members of the studio audience. That's two for you. Two for you. Two written out there. Just bring them out uh, as a, as appropriate. And your scene is a lawyer meeting his client just before a big case, just before a big trial. Okay? Where you go. You did it! No, sorry. Oh, sorry. I should be uh, a little more open-minded, I guess. I just, uh, I don't feel very confident in you. Right, it won't be a problem. Just wash the blood from your hands and we'll get right into the courtroom. <laughs> you know, I don't think I have a chance with this judge. 
He doesn't like me very much as a lawyer, but I'm going to defend you. Because as a lawyer, I took that oath. Only your chicken impression can save us now. <laughs> I'm telling you, the jury's going to love it. Oh, that's crazy. Crazy, is it? Maybe if I just throw myself on the mercy of the court. Remember what the good book says. Luke 1941. <laughs> Go on, give it a squeeze. <laughs> and the Lord just say, Go on and give it a squeeze. And if it does squeeze good, will that good come out of it? <laughs> you have quite a command of the Bible. Look, I think I'm just going to plead insanity. I think that's the only way you're going to get off. In well, this what case. am I going to do? I want you to go up to that judge, look him straight in the eyes, and say, Grease me up, I'm getting in. Fourteen points each, uh, 32 to the members of the audience who suggested the line. As we go into a game called Song Styles, I say we, in fact, going to be Neil Ashdown, who's going to make up a song on the spot here about somebody here in the studio audience with the assistance of Richard Raj at the piano. Now, I'd like uh, a girl or a woman to volunteer to have a song made up about her. Jolly. What's your name? Drew. Drew. Jolly good. Drew. <laughs> and uh, have, you, have you got a job or profession you've got or would like to pretend to have for the evening? <laughs> you said that without moving your lips. <laughs> or anything else. Okay. Drew, Drew the Stripper. They, uh, there you go. A love song to Drew the Stripper. clue where to go So I picked up my shoes and I toddled down to old Soho <laughs> I paid my two pounds so I could have a pee So that I'd be there for ten minutes and I would go to sleep but I saw you through <laughs> I saw you through, I saw you, I wasn't blue, and I am through, cause I saw you buck naked, buck naked, without any clothes on, very bare in me, castles just here, and shiny. <laughs> oh, won't you dance with me? I'll dance with you, my crew. Okay. okay, well done. Uh, well done. Well, well done. Well done, Neil. Well done, Richard. Well done, Drew. And well done, Drew's ex friend who suggested stripper. <laughs> Let's do a game called Superheroes. It's going to start with Greg, and everyone else is going to join in in due course. We're going to decide which superhero he is, and he'll decide who the next person to join him, which sort of superhero he'll be, and so on down the line. It will become clear, I hope, eventually. But can we suggest what sort of superhero you'd like Greg to be? Obsessive compulsive man. Does that make any sense to you? Yeah, obsessive compulsive. I'm from America. We know all about that. Yeah. <laughs> um, have you got a... Have you got a, um, a crisis, a world ethic crisis that the world is facing? Run out of cornflakes. Okay. Yeah. It, it looms large in his life. Okay. <laughs> the world is running out of cornflakes. <laughs> you are an obsessive man, a compulsive man. Now, where you go? I can't stop washing my hands. Oh, my God. I'd like to turn on the world crisis monitor, but people have touched it before me. <laughs> Here, I'll use a baby wipe. Oh, my God. The world's running out of cornflakes. Sad losers everywhere will be bummed out. <laughs> I hope my super friends arrive soon. Sorry I'm late, I couldn't catch a cab. Thank God you opened the door by yourself. I didn't want to touch it. <laughs> my God, you've arrived just in the nick of time, wiggle worm. <laughs> well, it was a big, uh, a big stir down the street. I tried to get here early. Oh, cornflakes are gone. Did you know about that? Cornflakes are oh, gone. God, I'm here. here. Thank God you're here, mispronunciation boy. <laughs> Going. What's that on the Minotaur? <laughs> oh my God, all the Quinn Flukes are gone. No, you're saying it wrong. All the Quinn Flukes. Every Quinn oh. Fluke on the oh. planet. I thought I heard you, mispronunciation boy. Oh, thank God you're here, fascinated by Belly Button's boy. <laughs> <laughs> you're here, Mr. Nick of Time. So what's 
seems to be the problem. The cornflakes, they're all disappearing. Oh, yeah? Everybody! <laughs> Everybody shot out a lick! Wait a minute! <laughs> we have a whole pocket here! My God! The world's supply of cornflakes right there in his belly button! <laughs> I bought it from the Naval Service. <laughs> here, I must go. I've got to clean out some lint. <laughs> well, I'll just bugger it. <laughs> I'll just go see if I can get a job as a vibrator. Okay. <laughs> okay, well done, that was fun. I can't... I cannot even begin to allocate points to that game until I've seen some advertisements. So we'll do that, see you off that. Uh, the, the, I have to say the scores are all level. They're all different scores. They're all levelly written on the score sheet. <laughs> so if we go to the game called Props, the team's divided into two pairs of two for this. Uh, Ryan and Neil, uh, this is your prop, and you have to come up with as many different ways of using it as possible. Whereas uh, Colin and Greg, there we go. I'll just take, I'll have to hang on to some of that for my own personal use. <laughs> Uh, no, I'll bust between two brains. Have you come up with examples of ways of using these props? Starting over there with you, Ryan and Neil. The baby chicks look hungry. <laughs> <laughs> look at them down on Earth, Zeus. Throw one of you some of <laughs> Yes, it is I, Lobster Man. <laughs> After the sleigh blew up, this is all we could find of Santa. Oh, my God. <laughs> Do you have a table for Priscilla, Queen of the Desert? <laughs> Lady Antoinette, the ball's about to start. <laughs> uh, could I have a C, please, Carol? A C? <laughs> I'm telling you, there was a sheep in here. <laughs> oh, I think you'll enjoy it here. Excuse me, I'm looking for the sperm bank. <laughs> okay, I'll send you that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh. Okay. I'll just... I'll put all the props back in my bath as we carry on to the next game, which is called Animals. Uh, this is for Colin and Greg to start, and Ryan will join in due course. All they have to do is to do a soap opera, uh, but you have to do it as animals. And the animals I'd like you to do it as uh, are hamsters. Okay? <laughs> So it's just an ordinary soap opera, no other restrictions, but your hamsters. What's wrong with you? It's <laughs> <laughs> <Some> friends. <laughs> hamsters. The hamsters are my friends. <laughs> Thank God you're done in that wheel. I thought you were going to be in there all day. <laughs> Get off my back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mom liked you. Mom didn't eat you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. I meant to get here earlier. Hey, vodka. <laughs> hey. Mr. Hamster Waterhog, someone's been eating all the kibble around here. Not me. Yeah, yeah, it's been you. We were in your area last night. <laughs> Food hidden under your wood chips. We saw you with your steaks all chuffed. So what if I have? So what if I have? What do you got to say about it, Gary? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> well done. That was fun. Yeah. I can't begin to tell you how exciting the scores are. Well, I can begin to tell you, but I can't be bothered. And we go into a game called the Backward Scene. That's a particularly difficult uh, game to play. Ryan and Neil are going to do it. Uh, you run O'Neill if we could have booked him. But uh, all you have to do is just act out a scene, and all you have to do is to start with the end line and work back to the beginning. Fantastically difficult. Uh, one of you has been kicked out of the army. Is the plot. Starting at the end. I love the army, but I can't stay here any longer. Seems to me you're not very fond of the army. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand it. <laughs> you're useless. Go on. Tell me I'm useless. <laughs> you just don't match up to the other men. <laughs> Take them off now. <laughs> Take those trousers off. Why are you looking at my trousers? <laughs> Let's have a look at it, then. Doctor, I've got a problem. 
Can I help you? <laughs> Hello, Doctor. Brilliant. Brilliantly played that scene of throwing out the army and the uh, a doctor sketch as well. So that was uh, <laughs> double points there. Now we do a game called Film Dub. This is for Greg and Ryan. I'd like to come down where they can see a special monitor, uh, which will be showing a film from which the original soundtrack has been removed. You have to add a new soundtrack. <clears throat> and also add the story of the problems of sharing a flat onto that uh, film there, which will start now. Hello. <laughs> I wish, uh, hello people at home. I uh, many things go wrong when you share a plant with someone or a, or a house flat. This, for instance. <laughs> this is a dental bridge I use in my... He's always building models. <laughs> day after day. He had hair up until this morning. You know, this is a toy car I'm working on. Once I get the wheels, it's... The man is 45 years old. And all he does is build. Want a screw, he said? Hey, you better love to if we had a girl here if I, she had a chassis like this boy well if she had a chassis like that we wouldn't have lived together for the last 45 years you know harold experimented with acid at a very early age don't you keep it home trying oh for christ's sake come this way this is our car he's taking the engine out of it he's insane that's what happens when you move in with a cheap <laughs> a cheap bastard is that what you're trying to say yeah. Yeah. I just never wanted it to stop. Now let's go on to a game called Party Quirks. This is going to feature Greg Proops as the host of the party. All the other three will be guests of the party. In front of each of the guests, an envelope inside which has been placed a suggestion for a strange way of behaving, or a quirk. And uh, Greg has to work out what quirk has been allocated to each of his fellow competitors. So if you come on down, re Greg, ready to uh, start the party, right. then the other's going to come in the order of Neil, Colin and Ryan. Oh, so is the party under full swing or in full yes, swing? Yes, it is. Good. Here we go. Woo. It's come as an Elizabeth Hurley's dress party. <laughs> yeah. That'd be the bell. I'll get it. <laughs> well, hello. How lovely to see you. You stupid man. <laughs> I think I'll just help myself to a nice drink. Bonza. Hi, Neil. <laughs> Multiple personality Irish leprechaun dude. <laughs> I just like to call you that. Look, I can't turn your joker, eh? I gotta get the door. Look, I'm only gonna show you one, so watch! What more do you need? Look at it! Look at it! What more can it do? Nothing! You, I'll buy one, Mr. Vacuum Cleaner Salesman. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. He's, a, he's very wound up, ain't he? Yes, he is. Multiple accents, guy. Who's making the country smell. Good morning, Ryan. Whoa. <laughs> oh, things. Really good. Oh, the scotch. Yo, Not right. on the rock. <laughs> Not on the rock. <laughs> Hold on to the side. Hold on to the side. Here, 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 you're on a raft in a river. You're a yeah, river raft. I'm going to be a white rock. Give us a rock. Okay. All right. Uh, that, that, was, that was taking so long, I thought I was going to have to tell you. But uh, there it is, so I'll give you a point for that. As we go on to a game called uh, Hold Down, and uh, this is for everybody, all four contestants, to come on down to make up a song in the form of a hold down with the assistance of Richard Branch at the piano. And can you suggest a topic for them, uh, some, some reason why families get together? <laughs> Halloween. Halloween. Okay, that's the uh, people get together on Halloween. So, <laughs> very good suggestion. Incest is a bit, a bit too strong for British viewers. So, you have on that. So, a Halloween hoedown. Take it away, Greg. Trick or treating, I go from door to door. I ask for candy, ask for sweets, and then I ask for more. Sometimes they give me lots of rocks and bugs, but I do not care, cause I trick or treat on drugs. <laughs> I'm so glad that Halloween is finally 
finally here, cause Halloween's my favorite time of the entire year. I dress up and give all the kids an awful fright. I really don't know why I'm not wearing a mask tonight. <laughs> Terrible blizzard. It was 